Hi, this is Mrs. Bear. I'm going to talk to you today about solving two-step equations. I want to start with kind of a scenario I use to help you understand what to do, in case you've never heard this before. I think of a, solving a two-step equation like unwrapping a present. So let's say I have a present, X, it came in a box. That's a great present, by the way. It's a great present. I've always wished for equations for presents. <laughs> and I need to attach paper to my present. So here's my paper I've attached to my present. And once it's wrapped in paper, I'm going to add a bow onto that present. And my result is this package here. So this is like my present. This is the paper, this is the bow, and this is the whole wrapped gift that I'm giving. So when you get a present and you go to unwrap it, uh, pretend your grandma gave you this present. She's in the room watching you and you don't want to be greedy and selfish. So the first thing you'd normally do is Reynolds. The ribbon, get the ribbon yeah, out of the there. The ribbon, the bow, get sure. that out. And then you stick so it on someone's head. The opposite of adding is subtracting. So if I'm removing the ribbon, I have to do the opposite. And whatever I do on one side, got to do to the other. That gives me my paper attached to my present. And now the product looks different because the bow is missing. And we've stuck the bow on Miss Reynolds' head. Yeah. Now I have this present with paper attached to it, so I need to get rid of the paper, take it off. So I'm going to undo the paper, so I'm going to undo this multiplication using division on each side. The inverse operation. And that leaves me with my gift that was inside there. So that's just one way to kind of look at solving an equation. And I know you guys know how to solve these equations, but I just wanted to give you that scenario. So here's the equations you solved the other day. So here are some steps that you should have done first, and I want you to compare this to your paper and make sure you have the proper steps. You should start by undoing any addition or subtraction first. The opposite of subtracting eight is adding to both sides. That leaves me two X equals negative 22. I've multiplied x by 2. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. I divide both sides by 2, and I get x is negative 11. Box your solution. Most of you seem to have had no problem with that one. This has division and addition. Undo your addition first. The opposite is subtracting 3 on both sides. That gives you x divided by 5 equals negative 2. The opposite of dividing is multiplying. Look how I'm showing my multiplication. In parentheses, I'm multiplying both sides by 5. This is like 5 over 1. So these cancel. They really make a 1x. And now I just have x or 1x. And negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. So showing your multiplication like this, some of you need to change that on your paper. You're using dots and sometimes those dots start to look at like decimal points. And then the next problem, undo my addition or subtraction first. So the opposite of adding 17 would be subtracting. That would leave me with 2 fifths x equals 60. The opposite of multiplying is dividing, but we don't really divide fractions. Miss Reynolds, we don't divide fractions. We... I just she wasn't I was near just me. just doing something else. Miss Reynolds does... Uh -oh, we, don't, Reynolds. we don't really divide with fractions. We multiply by... By the inverse. Or the reciprocal, right? The reciprocal. The inverse and the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal or the inverse of that fraction. Yeah, perfect. These cancel and isolate x, they, they really make 1x. And then I'm going to cross cancel here. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 60 30 times, 30 times 5 is 150. 
There are a few students who did this in two steps. You first multiplied each side of the equation by five and then divided each side by two, which works. But really, when it's written as a fraction, you should be using one inverse operations to do yeah. that step. Yeah, we, now that they're in eighth grade, they, they yeah. should definitely be doing that. Definitely. Some of you started this problem by distributing the negative three on the outside of the parentheses to both terms on the inside of parentheses. That's a good way to start. That makes negative 3x plus 9. A negative times a negative is a positive. I didn't see very many errors on that. That was great to see. Could you also divide both sides by negative 3 first? Yes, you could divide both sides by negative 3 first. We'll do that after. Miss Reynolds is picking on me. Negative 3x equals 9. Divide both sides by negative 3. And x equals negative 3. So what Ms. Reynolds was talking about is something that a few of you actually did to solve this problem. So here's the original problem again. She said, could I have started by dividing both sides by negative three first? Yes, you could. These will cancel and leave the information that was in the parentheses. I no longer need the parentheses. This makes negative six. The opposite of subtracting three is adding three. Negative six plus three is negative three. I get the same answer. I just started with a different step. So these are some ways to work on solving two-step equations. Please compare this to your paper and make corrections and changes as needed. Thank you.